Freshman attendance. First up, freshman attendant, Celine Miller. Celine's parents are Danielle Beck and Justin Beck. Extracurricular activities include softball, volleyball, and golf. Future plans are that she plans to continue her education after high school so she can get a job that makes a lot of money. <laughs> Celine Miller. Next we have freshman attendant Tanner Miley. Tanner is escorted by parents Tara Miley and Trent Miley. Extracurricular activities include football, basketball, and being a member of the lead team. Tanner's quote to live by is to never back down, never give up. Tanner Miley. <laughs> Sophomore attendant, Brooklyn Kuhn. Brooklyn is escorted by Kevin Kuhn. She is a member of Art 2. And future educational plans are going into graphic arts. Her top goal is to graduate with everything she wanted to do being around school. Her quote to live by is, when life gets you down, get back up and just keep swimming. Brooklyn Kuhn. <laughs> Sophomore male attendant, Dylan Norman. Dylan is escorted by Daryl Reinhardt and Angela Albright. Dylan's extracurricular activities include cheerleading, marching band, and pep and jazz band. Dylan's high school goals are to maintain a good GPA and graduate with all honors. Dylan Norman. Next up is our female junior attendant, Maisie Brinkman. Maisie is escorted by her parents, Matt Brinkman and Courtney Hoovler. Her extracurricular activities include cross country and track, basketball, and FFA. Her future plans are to further her education by attending college and majoring in, a dental, in dental hygiene. Maisie Brinkman. Next is junior attendant, Bo Landon. <laughs> Bo is escorted by his parents, Rob and Shannon Landon. His extracurricular activities include football, basketball, and track. Future educational plans are to graduate high school and attend Ohio University and further his education. Bo Landon. Next will be our senior attendants. First up is Mia Marshall. Mia is escorted by parents Amy Marshall and Ryan Marshall. Extracurricular activities include volleyball, powerlifting, and hanging out with her friends. Her future educational plans are to go to college and get a degree in psychology and to become a mental health therapist. Mia Marshall. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Next up is senior attendant Caden Martinez. Caden is escorted by his mother, Alicia McCombs. His extracurricular activities include golf, baseball, and fishing. His plans are to attend college and to become a chiropractor. Caden Martinez. Our second female senior attendant is Maggie Brewer. Maggie is escorted by her parents, Randy and Julie Brewer. Her extracurricular activities include volleyball, youth safety council, and being a member of FFA. Her plans after high school are attending dental assisting school during the second semester and working while going to college to become a dental hygienist. Maggie Brewer. Our final senior attendant tonight is Drew Hammond. Drew is escorted by parents Megan Hammond and Wade Randolph. Extracurricular activities include baseball, basketball, and golf. After high school, Drew says, I'm attending the University of Finley next fall to play baseball and to further his education. Drew Hammond. My apologies, we have a couple more senior attendants. Senior attendant Jillian Mariotti. Jillian is escorted by parents Jenny Mariotti and Doug Mariotti. Her extracurricular activities include cheer, night sounds, National Honor Society. Her plans are to attend college and pursue a career in forensic psychology. Jillian Mariotti. <laughs> now for our final senior attendant, Griffin Haley. Griffin is escorted by his parents, Brent and Jolene Haley. His extracurricular activities include sports, showing pigs, and hanging with the boys. His future educational plans are to go to college and pursue a degree in business. Griffin Haley. Next, we will have our last year's king and queen coming across. Our last year's king was Max Lauer. And our queen last year was Abby Conant. Along with them is our flower girl, Caroline Cox, and ring bearer, Parker Gledhill. Okay, at this time we are going to announce the winners of our 2023 Homecoming King and Queen. We will start with the King. Your 2023 Homecoming King, Griffin Haley.
And now your 2023 homecoming queen is Maggie Brewer. Congratulations to all members of our homecoming court. So there you are. Your homecoming queen, Griffin Haley. Homecoming queen, Maggie Brewer. Congratulations to both. All right, we are about 23 minutes away from kick, so we're going to take about a 10-minute break. When we come back, we'll have the Ruth Farms pregame show for this homecoming game between Northmore and Fredertown coming up.
in North Bloomfield Township as the three and two Northmore Golden Knights look to get back on track after its loss to Danville last week against the Fredericktown Freddy squad that handed them a loss last season. We have all the action coming your way on the, your smartphone, TV, PC, tablet, any smart device you have, and it's coming your way next. Take a look at all the action from Friday Night Football right here in North Central Ohio with great analysis, highlights, coach interviews, and so much more every single Friday night right here on the OH Report. Ohio Health is the official sports medicine provider of Northmore High School. Available 24-7 to care for your athletes with same-day appointment options. We keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Ohio Health is proud to partner with Northmore High School to provide a healthier community. We are healthcare experts close to home, serving teams, parents, and all of Morrow County. Ohio Health. Believe in we. Everybody struggles sometimes. When you need someone to talk to, call 988 or text HELPLINE to 898-211 to reach the Suicide and Crisis Hotline. When you reach out to 988, hope always answers. Welcome you inside the Ruth Farms pregame show for this homecoming night clash between the three and two Golden Knights of Northmore and the two and three Freddies of Fredericktown. Hello everybody, my name is Travis Berardi alongside Ken Parrott. And Ken, this is a big night, not only homecoming for Northmore, but a chance for them to bounce back after a tough loss at Danville. Tough loss against the uh, league favorites, the powerhouse Danville. They're gonna find out whether or not Coach Armrose has got the ship back on the right track. Uh, one of the players told me today they feel, feel like they had the best practice they've had all year this, this week. So uh, we, we look for them to bounce back tonight. And for those of you looking, I see you in the comments, looking for Danville. Well, first Danville's at Loudonville. They don't have a contract with us yet. As well, the internet, as you saw with the Loudonville Mount Gilead game, we are unable to do it. So, Danville fans, we apologize. We get you the last four games of the season, though, live and free. So, Danville fans, we'll have you back next week and for the last four games, and then hopefully throughout the playoffs as well. But tonight, we got the other squads in the KMAC Northmore and Fredericktown. Let's get into our pregame festivities and take a look at the Fredericktown Freddies. Offensively, only scoring 13 points a game, Ken, giving up 26, uh, but on the ground, pretty good, 148 yards per game. Defensively, not a lot of turnovers for us, but sacks, they can get those at eight. Fred Fredericktown's a really young team. Uh, they've had a really tough schedule. They've played Highland, they've played Utica, they played Danville, so they're kind of hard to read. Um, Quarterback's getting better and better every week. Last week he had uh, 126 yards passing and 103 yards rushing against the uh, the Indians. So uh, they're getting better every week. And there's the quarterback, sophomore quarterback, Blake Sipes, 
30 of 65, 446 yards passing and four touchdowns. He will throw the interception, though. He has eight interceptions this season, but also he will run 75 carries, 376 yards, and three scores. Very quick. He likes to get on the outside and get around the ends and go, and Northmore's going to have to be sure their, their defensive ends contain him tonight. And now let's head it down to the field for the playing of the national anthem by the Northmore Golden Knight Marching Band. Almost ready to go here from North Bluefield Township. About three minutes before kickoff, so let's take a look at that squad you see right in front of you about to take the field. The Northmore Golden Knights, three and two, one and one in the conference. Same record in conference as Fredericktown. 40 points per game, though. They can light you up on the scoreboard, giving up 20 points per game offensively, defensively. Still, that balance. The rushing numbers went down a little bit last week because they played a very good defensive squad from Danville, but the passing still there at 189 yards per game. And defensively, they still force turnovers, and that could be a big issue for Fredericktown tonight. 16 turnovers forced, and they also can get you in the backfield with eight sacks. Gold Knights have a lot of offensive weapons. Uh, one of the best quarterbacks in the league with A.J. Bauer, and they got a really good running back with Carson Campbell. And uh, a ton of great receivers, as, as we've got highlighted there with Bo Landon and, and uh, Jack Swinger. Both juniors. Landon, 13 catches, 287 yards, and six touchdowns. And you saw that, that tip drill catch he had for about 70 last week. And then Jack Swinger had two touchdowns receiving, 12 catches, 235. Still baffles me how he was able to follow that ball through the hands of the Danville receiver and go right into the breadbasket for that second touchdown against Danville. Definitely a highlight real moment. So the Golden Knights have taken the field here in the Ruth Farms pregame show. As you see, Fredericktown about to take the field this evening. We do want to welcome all you folks in live and free this evening on the OH Report. Let us know where you're watching from. Give us a shout out. We will shout you right back out, just like Joseph Tatman from the YouTube saying, Go Knights. Brenda Harris is watching. Congrats. Thank you for watching, Brenda. Linda Wolford, congratulations, Maggie Brewer. She was our homecoming queen and our homecoming king, Griffin Haley, a player on the squad. Yep. We'll see him this evening as well. He's a wide receiver, defensive back, a senior. Congratulations to both of them. I know both kids, and they're really good kids. Congratulations to both. And here come Fredericktown. The Freddies taking the field. And as they take a field, let's take a look at their keys to victory here inside the Ruth Farms pregame show. Wear down and slow and steady. They kind of both go, go through it the same. We saw it with Danville. Northmore scored quick, but then Danville, a slow and steady pace down the field, kept the offense of Northmore off the board. They scored and kind of took pace in that game. Those are the keys that I think they should have tonight. I imagine the uh, Freddie's coaching staff saw that film and 
they're going to try to duplicate that performance tonight. And now the keys for Northmore. It's homecoming. You always got to be up for homecoming. You don't want to go to the dance the next day after a loss. It's happened to me in high school. You don't want to do that. And special teams, that was the big turning yes. point in the game yep. for Northmore. The fake punt, yep. Yep. the onside kick, that might have been the difference in the game other than the two sacks that A.J. Bauer took on third down. I'm, I'm pretty confident that that was stressed multiple times this week in the, by the coaches during practice. So there you have it. This has been the Ruth Farms pregame show as we are ready to go. Fredericktown won the toss. They elected to defer. So the Golden Knights and that offense, they'll get things started here. And we are underway. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Ball's muffed. Picked up by Bryson Kearns, trying to get the corner, gets a little bit, and he'll get out to the 27. And that is where we have our first home and kitchen supply first down as we take a look at the starting lineup for the Golden Knights behind gunslinger A.J. Bauer. He has Carson Campbell, Cohen Becker in the backfield, Bo Landon, Jax Wenger, Hunter Falk as well, receivers. You have Cameron Goldbach in there as a tight end, and then Planey, Harbolt, Britt, Armrose, and Crabill. Juniors and seniors on the line. You love having that veteran side on the line for the Golden Knights. Definitely a lot of weapons. I'm sure they'll all get used tonight. Four wide for A.J. Bauer, three wide to the left. Split out to the right is Cohen Becker. And now Campbell's going to go out for the fake bubble. They're actually going to go to the left. It's caught across the 30, up towards the 35. That is Hunter Folk. So a good catch and run for eight yards on first down. Brings up second down and short. Fredericktown rushing four, and uh, A.J. got it out there very quickly and found his receiver and nice yardage. That'll bring up second down and two. I, I always cringe when I see the bubble screen because my Steelers and my Mountaineers can't run it like Northmore <laughs> just did. It's going to be a handoff. Left side, it's going to be a first down run up to the 40. Now to the 41 is Cohen Becker. And that's enough for a home and kitchen supply first down as Becker needed two, got seven. Well, both your Steelers and your Mountaineers had a good weekend last week. Yes, we weekend. did. So congratulations I'm, to that. Although I hate the way the Steelers won yeah. because I'm a big fan of Nick Chubb. It's tough. It is really tough. But my Mountaineers beat Pitt. I can't say the actual words on air because I've been yelled at, but they <laughs> beat Pitt, and it was great to see. Hand off right side, cuts it back, and Campbell is going to get a couple out of this one. It'll bring up second down. They're officially going to give him three yards. It's second and seven. To take a look at the Northmore Athletic Boosters replay. But again, positive yards, something that yep. they didn't get a lot of last time, last oh. week. Offensive line is doing their job. Bauer across the wide middle open. as a man wide open. That is Bo Landon inside the 40 to the 37. It's a home and kitchen supply first down. Again, a great example, the offensive line protected Bauer, doing great. 19 yards on the completion. And that's the second Golden Knight first down here. They're moving, ball at the 36. Blitz. Quick hitter left side, that's gonna be caught by Campbell. He's gonna make it up to the 35, down to the 34. So give him three, it'll bring up second down and seven on the play. Knocked down officially at the 35. Power took a big hit there on that blitz. Still got it off for completion. Second down and officially eight. Quick throw oh. right side to Falk. I saw them try this in their warm up. It's kind of a, a, a version of that jump pass, but it's instead him running right side and throwing wide to Hunter Falk that time though didn't have enough time to get it that's a tough throw to make sometimes so it'll bring up third the first third down of the game is just take a look and that yeah that defensive end was unblocked yep. 
So third down now and eight. Both wide receivers in motion. That's Falk and Wenger going to the right side with Landon. Bauer takes the snap. Five-man rush. He's going to let it go. Wide and open. it is caught to Jax Wenger and taken down at the nine-yard line of Homan's Kitchen Supply. First down. 26 Wait. yards. Way too much cushion on that coverage there. And again, offensive line did a great job giving A.J. time to get that ball off. And that was a one-on-one. -on -one. Wenger kind of jumped off that off of his route, cut it short, and his defender didn't go with him. First and goal from the nine. That's going to be a handoff to Campbell. Left side still on his feet. He's going to get a couple, bring up second and goal. Good job of wrapping him up in order to make the tackle, but Carson showed his strength there and kept on getting a few more yards out of it. So give him two on the carry, second and goal from the seven and a half. Wenger in motion, three wide to the left. That's going to be a quick throw. Wide Slant open. actually on the out is caught and into the end zone. Touchdown, Golden Knights. Jackson Wenger just took it out of the hands of the defender who went for the interception and gives the Golden Knights six as they strike first. To take a look at the replay, Ken, almost went the other way. Yep. But Bauer just enough under, as you see. Yep. It's the chance you take sometimes, but the risk reward is worth it. Yep. Gold Knights are on the board. Chenier here attempted an extra point. Winger Snap doing the down, kick is away, and it is good. 8.51 left here, opening quarter, Golden Knights strike first. We'll be back. Ohio Health is the official sports medicine provider of Northmore High School. Available 24-7 to care for your athletes with same-day appointment options. We keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Ohio Health is proud to partner with Northmore High School to provide a healthier community. We are healthcare experts close to home, serving teams, parents, and all of Morrow County. Ohio Health, believe in we. So the Golden Knights take the kick and drive right down the field for six to make things seven nothing as we take a look real quick at the Northmore Athletic Booster replay but it's the first look that Bauer had he got it right in there and actually he he didn't throw it hard enough he actually took a little off yeah. and that almost got picked off yeah. but it didn't and the Golden Knights are on the board now it's time to see if the Freddies can answer with their first possession that's going to be taken by Brody Davis at the eight across the 20 25 and a good return for the Freddies as we take a look at their offensive starters behind sophomore quarterback Blake Seitz. You have Trevor Bellman, Elijah Roush, Brody Davis, who you just saw take that kick, and then you have Grant Hartley, Gavin Toombs, the tight end, and then Coble, Witt, Green, Tucker, and John Burns. Travis, you couldn't ask for a more perfect opening drive for the, for the Knights. Almost flawless, no penalties, marched right down the field. Forgetting completely about Danville last week, and we're, we're ready to move on. And there were times we saw that against Danville as well. Quick throw, right side, Sipes completes it. Give two yards to Davis, and it'll bring up second down. So the quick hitter gets something out of it, though, for the sophomore quarterback. So it'll bring up second down and eight here on the first possession for the Freddies. This is a big this is a big game for both sides. Winner goes to two one two and one in the conference. For Fredericktown, it gets them back to 500. For Northmore, it gets them back in the comfortable position in that top eight in the playoff yep. rankings. Nice fake, nice keep. And this is what we've been talking yep. about: his ability to run. Off to the races. 
It's a home and kitchen supply first down. As he goes from the 29 out to the 45. 16 yards on the run. He was able to break one tackle and this is what we've seen. And you're probably gonna see a lot of that from Fredericktown tonight. It's what Mapleton was able to do and be successful with against Northmore. Mapleton had a bigger quarterback, a little bit more physical quarterback, but still that run chance is there. Handoff this time to Bellman and he is going nowhere met by that big defensive line from Northmore. Blake Sipes had 18 carries last week, so we, we will expect to see him do that a lot tonight. It'll bring up second down, actually a loss of one. Second and 11. And keep in mind, folks, he's only a sophomore, so he's only gonna keep getting better and better with confidence. And this is something too, Danville, they ran the ball well, but they ran it on the outside. They Cole DeLauder ran up, up the middle, but that's the only player that did because Northmore has a big interior defensive yeah. line. Quick throw right side. That's complete to Bellman, and he's going to get four yards and bring up a third down and seven. So again, that little outlet was there, and he's able to dink it out, but Northmore is going to allow that on second down and long. Right. It sets up a third and long. Right. Just underway here. First drive for the Freddies after Northmore went right down the field. A seven yard A.J. Bauer to, Je to Hunter Falk touchdown pass. Actually, Jack Swinger touchdown pass. Sipes is gonna keep it again, get the left side oh. and he's gonna get the first down. He needed eight, I think he got eight. And another home and kitchen supply first down. Just enough blocks downfield to move the chains. Another big run. Knights rushed four, and defensive end went the wrong direction. There he goes. Blake Tucker had a good seal yep. to open up that first corner. And we did see them. They were successful in a drive or two against Danville with this running attack. Just weren't able to keep with the right. Blue Devils for four quarters. Right. Update from the Cleveland Browns game of the night, 14-0 Mansfield senior at Lexington. Wow. Keeper and big hit in the middle of the line. A little shook up on that hit. Ryan Lowry, as you take a look at this replay, Ken. He tried to go up the middle. He did get a yard out of it, but watch this hit. And that's, that's the risk you're gonna sometimes take right here. Just met, form tackle. Big 10 hit. Put him back. Bring up second down and nine. But I think it was cool that everybody in North Central Ohio voted and the Cleveland Browns PR team, the media is coming down the, the awesome. Lexington yeah, for that Lexington awesome. Mansfield senior game. Oh, nice pass. That's caught. And he gets away. Down to the 30 yard line. Blake Sipes doing it all this first quarter. Threaded that needle there. Perfect pass. 13 yards on the play. Gavin Toombs not only stole that away from the defenders from Northmore, but then fought his way out of it and got some extra yards. Both teams with first stat, three first downs on their first drive. And it's gonna be a play action, left side. Sipes looking, throws, and it is caught again to Toombs, and he gets down to the 20, but a flag is on the play. First flag of the game. Five yards downfield, so. Might be an eligible man downfield if that's five yards down the field. It's on a play action play especially. And they are moving back. It is ineligible man downfield. And our first penalty of the night goes to Fredericktown. That Tubes is a big target. He's 6'5". Perfect size for a tight end. 6'5", 220, and he's a sophomore, like we said. A lot of sophomores on this Fredericktown squad. Looks like he's got good hands. But I do want to get back to that. 
Cleveland Browns, it's usually Northeast Ohio, but they put Mansfield Senior Lexington, a lot of media outlets around here, including us, put it out there, and they won with 47% of the vote. That's the awesome. winner's athletic department gets $2,500. Wow. Throw, quick left side, it's caught, immediately hit, but they're going to get about 10 yards out of the play, and it'll bring up second down and manageable. So a 10-yard pitch and catch. That caught by Brody Davis. Bring up second and five. Again, Blake Sipes has been perfect this, this first drive here. He's four for four. He's got uh, 30 yards rushing already. He's doing great. And he hasn't made a mistake yet either. Yeah, exactly. 26 yards rushing. Takes a snap, it's gonna be a handoff right side and a nice stop for a moment. That was Golden Cameron Goldbach who was able to at least slow up Elijah Roush there. If he doesn't wrap him up, Roush probably gets to the outside and maybe takes that for, to the end zone. He gets two yards, it'll bring up third down and three. So Goldbach, sometimes even if you don't make the tackle, if you wrap up, you might save a play. Right. Fredericktown manageable third down though. Third and three from the Northmore 23. Coming up on two minutes and 20 seconds left in this opening quarter. Both teams only one possession in this quarter. Playing right into the hands of Fumble. Fredericktown. Ball's on the ground, but picked right back yep. up. Mishandled bad, bad the handoff, off, yep. and I might—I apologize for the announcer jinx saying it was a perfect drive thus far. <laughs> I just see he, yeah, just it, muffed his it. running back actually. That was yep. Brody Davis wasn't right with him on the handoff. He was behind him, and he kind of had to flip it towards him. Bad transition, and it'll back them up. Frederick Jones fortunate to recover that. Fourth and three. So the ball did fall right on the line of scrimmage for no gain, but. Nothing's more demoralizing than ending a beautiful drive with a turnover. Fortunately, they have a second chance here. He's gonna keep it, Sipes tries to get the corner left side, stiff arms, and he is taken down short of the line to gain. Northmore takes over. Wow. That time, Northmore read it perfectly. Hunter Falk and company was outside. As you take a look at this replay, everybody was there. Falk and company, a couple defensive backs able to shed their blocks. They knew he got one. He they, needed three. Yep, they knew where Blake was going, and they just, just ran him down, matched him for foot speed. So the Golden Knights with the home and kitchen supply first down here with under 90 seconds left in the opening quarter. If Fredericktown were to score, that would have looked easily, eerily similar to that Danville drive for their first score. Take a lot of time yeah. off the clock, yeah. but this time the Golden Knights stand tall. Bauer, he's going to hand it off to Campbell left side. He's going to fight his way out to the 25-yard line, give him three yards at second down. So second and seven. Oh. And we have a jump. Five and it yards. is gonna be against Fredericktown. Encroachment. So that'll set up a second. And about one. One to go. Pretty much free play here. Bauer handed on the sweep. That's Caleb Chenier, and he's going to get oh. met at the 30. He will not get the first down. Nice job out there by Grant Hartley, as well as Lane Warner. And he'll set up third down. No gain for Chenier. So there goes your free play, Ken. Yeah, wasted it, unfortunately. This may be the last play of the quarter, and they got him to jump again. Now you got a free first down. 
And once again, we see this just with North Morgan, that hard count, then going to look for the play, yep. and Fredericktown just went for it. And you got to know they were coached this week about that because Northmore does that all the time. It's just a, a middle, middle mistake. It's costly. Another home and kitchen supply first down. Bauer is going to go deep down the middle of the landing. Oh, caught. Good. 30, 20, Not gonna be 10, caught. 5, to the house. Touchdown, Golden Knights. Nice. 64 yards in the Northmore Golden Knights take a 13-0 lead. The last play of the first quarter. Beautiful throw. Beautiful play. Let's take a look at that one more time. Right down the middle. Let it go and land in a little bit of traffic too. Just read it perfectly and goes to pay dirt. And Travis Pay attention to how well the offensive line gave him all kinds of time to get that pass off. Chenier on for the extra point. Snap down, kick away, and it is good. We've played one. Northmore, a big play to end the quarter, takes a 14-0 lead. We'll take a break. When we come back, quarter number two, will the Freddies answer? We'll find out live and free on the OH Report. Ohio Health is the official sports medicine provider of Northmore High School. Available 24-7 to care for your athletes with same-day appointment options. We keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Ohio Health is proud to partner with Northmore High School to provide a healthier community. We are healthcare experts close to home, serving teams, parents, and all of Morrow County. Ohio Health. Believe in we. Everybody struggles sometimes. When you need someone to talk to, call 988 or text HELPLINE to 898-211 to reach the Suicide and Crisis Hotline. When you reach out to 988, hope always answers. Fourteen nothing Golden Knights here on the Morrow County Hospital scoreboard on a sixty-seven yard Bauer to Landon touchdown catch at the end of the quarter. Fredericktown back out. We'll start at about the thirty, and we will show now the defensive starters for the Golden Knights. Talked about Goldbach on that tackle to hold up the first down run. Lowry, Johnson, Clark, the lineman, linebackers, Kramer, Chenier, Harvey, and our defensive backs, Falk, Becker, Kearns, and Wenger. Both offenses performed very well that first quarter. It's just big difference is Knights got points on the board and Freddy's didn't. Also, shout out Spearman Financial Services, also a scoreboard sponsor this evening. First and 10. It's going to be a handoff right up the middle, and Roush, I don't think he's going to get anything on this carry. No gain, it'll be second down. Try to go right into the heart of that offensive defensive line, and nothing doing. Big drive here for Fredericktown after Northmore with ease scoring on their first two possessions. Fredericktown needs some points on the board after this drive. Just heard for you Northmore fans, Loudonville went right down the field and scored on Danville. They lead 7-0 right now. That'd be a big victory not only for the Redbirds but for the Golden Knights as well. Sipes going to roll out to the left. Rose, he completes it. No, it's out of the hands of Toombs, and it'll bring up third down. Had him open, but just bobbled and dropped. Cohen Becker was on the defense for that play. 
Big play here for the Freddies. Cannot afford to go three and out here. Just underway here in the second quarter. Three wide for Sipes. Toombs inside as the fumble. tight end. He drops the ball. He's just going to chuck it. It is over the head of the receiver, and it'll be fourth down. Just that play disastrous from the start. Kind of knocked it off his running back for the ball yep. fake, and when he picked it back up, all he could do was chuck it downfield and incomplete, so it will be a punt for the Freddies here. And the Gold Knights will have good field position if they field this punt. Big, big possession here for uh, Northmore to go up three scores right away here. And now we're going to have a timeout by Fredericktown as they didn't have the personnel in there. We'll take one with them. 10.58 left in the half. Golden Knights by 14. Everybody struggles sometimes. When you need someone to talk to, call 988 or text HELPLINE to 898-211 to reach the Suicide and Crisis Hotline. When you reach out to 988, hope always answers. Out of the timeout. You see the defensive coordinators and squad from Northmore. It's Fredericktown. Has to punt. Ball is away. Kind of shanked to the right. It'll be fair caught at the 45 by Hunter Folk. And that is where the Golden Knights will start as we take a look at the defensive starters for the Freddies. Once again, brought to you by Ruth Farms. Parker, Coble, Witt, the D lineman. Linebackers, Toombs, Roush, Warner, and Bellman, as well as Parker, Hartley, Lang, and Mull, the defensive backs for Fredericktown. Score from another one of our games on the OH Report tonight. Carey and Crawford tied at zero after one. Wow. That's a big game for playoff points and first place in the N10. Bauer looking, throws, and that is over the receiver. Out of bounds, it's second down. Shout out to Northmore wrestling coach Scott Carr. Had emergency appendix removal about 2 o'clock this afternoon. Hopefully the surgery went well and he's, he's on the men. He actually FaceTimed Coach Armrose. This afternoon when I met him on the field at about 4.15. Wished him luck. Hopefully he's watching. Shout out to you. Hopefully you have a quick recovery, coach. Screen pass. That's going to be caught. We'll have a flag on the play. Illegal man downfield. I'm going to guess field. illegal man downfield, yeah. exactly. So the referee's discussing. Referee still discussing. We'll take a look at the replay. No penalty on the play, so the play stands. It's a screen play, the Becker. Give him four yards, and it's third and six. Ashland leading Madison, 7 0 after one. Winford 14, Bucyrus 0. That's our third live stream of the night. East Knox also in the first, leading Mount Gilead, 7-0. Bauer rolling to his right, throws, has a man oh. open, but it's short and nearly picked off. Should have had that one. That was right in the hands of Kirk Parker. Would have been big for turning the tides here for the Freddies. However, Fredericktown holds. They will force a punt. First punt for the Knights tonight. Yes. West Holmes leading Worcester, 14-7 in the second. Uh, 
Punt is away by Campbell. It's going to take a Northmore bounce inside the 15, and it will be down at the 14, and that will be where Fredericktown starts first and 10. So Fredericktown finally getting something going defensively. Now they need the match what they did to start their first drive. Positive yards on first yeah. down, moving the ball. Yep. Sipes left side has a bit of a hole. He'll get run out of bounds. At the 23, eight yards. Exactly what Fredericktown needed. Same play they've been running all along. Trying to get Sipes on the outside, the way he goes. Coming up on 10 minutes left here, first half. 14 nothing Northmore. We didn't see Sipes carried during that second possession, three and out. So I imagine we'll see him do that more this drive. He's going to maybe drop after a yard. But that was probably the smart play. He had two guys coming right at him. They're going to give him two. It's third and one. You take a look right here. That was Hunter Falk right ready to take him down with three others yep. ahead of the line the gain. So it's third and one. Ball on the Fredericktown 24. Watch and he's going to keep it, yep. and the pile is going to move plenty for a first down. Brought to you by Home and Kitchen Supply. He needed one, he got two. That's how you run a quarterback sneak. Although it wasn't much of a sneak because everybody knew he was going to run it. That's just a good push by that yep. offensive line. Yep. Ball now at the 26, first and 10. Defensive ends for Northmore flip. And now, Another a false mistake. start. Ugh. Actually a snap infraction, so the center flinched. Yep. That'll back them up, it's first and 15. Hello to Tim Rainey. Good luck, Northmore. Thanks, OH Report. Thank you for watching. Angie Evans, go Knights. Hello, Lane. And Jed Adams as well. First and 15. Sipes is going to pass. Rolling out to the right. He's getting rushed. And he's going to get taken down. He lets it go, though. What's the call going to be? It's going to be called incomplete. He's hurt. He's also hurt. He got ripped to the floor. Did you see the end of it? Yeah. And he, he just got spun around. Looks like he's hurting his shoulder. Take a look at the replay one more time. And... He just tried letting it go at the last second, and I think that that throw kind of whipped him. Yeah, like, as he whipped yeah. down instead of tucking himself, he let it go, and I think he landed on himself. Bellman's now running the offense. And we've seen Bellman in the stats at least have a couple he, he possessions. Had yeah, completion last week. He's looking right down the middle, and it is intercepted. Oh. Down the sideline and pushed out of bounds. Wow. Paul Kramer with the pick. Wow. Paul Kramer read that perfectly in the linebacker position. It got thrown in the traffic, maybe deflected. 
And he picks it off and gets Northmore a possession immediately in the red zone. Kind of surprised about that call. Coming in cold from uh, not, not uh, playing quarterback position and asked to throw the ball in the first, first play. And it backfired. So Bellman throwing the interception gives Northmore now a chance to add on to their lead. It's going to be a handoff to Campbell. He's going to be met behind the line of scrimmage. Maybe to the line of scrimmage. We'll see. But it's second down and goal. Or second down from the 13. For Bellman, that is his first interception on his fourth attempt of the season. Bauer looking to pass right side into the end zone. Jump ball is caught. Unbelievable. Bo landed. Again. Touchdown, Golden Knights. Again. This kid is a human highlight reel, folks. He's done that last year as well. One-on-one, -on -one, looked like it was well covered, and still yet Bauer threads the needle, and A.J. comes up with a big catch. That corner of the end zone, the la each of the last three years, we've seen somebody get mossed in the back of the end zone. Yeah, Melky Ori, yeah, Bo with Melky Ori yeah. two years ago, Hunter Falk did it last year, yep. now Bo Landon. Yep. That's a lucky corner for football yep. here. <laughs> Golden Knights looking for the extra point now. Snap down, kick is away. And it is good. 7.29 left in the half. Golden Knights extend its lead to 21-0. Ohio Health is the official sports medicine provider of Northmore High School. Available 24-7 to care for your athletes with same-day appointment options. We keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Ohio Health is proud to partner with Northmore High School to provide a healthier community. We are healthcare experts close to home, serving teams, parents, and all of Morrow County. Ohio Health, believe in we. Bo Landon making a highlight catch here. We'll take a look at it one more time. Uh, Ken, how's AJ Bauer? Just one or two incompletions thus far? He's eight for 11 with three touchdown throws already. He's putting on a clinic already. You saw on the replay how Landon, he's a basketball player as well. He set himself up, kind of shielded himself, no push off or anything, yep. but at the last second, turned great and hands. used his back to shield the, himself the, the for the catch. The kid's got great hands too. It's makes for a nice target for AJ. And AJ's doing a great job of, of thread the needle. He's, he's thrown some great balls already tonight. Ball taken at the eight, across the 10, the 20. Oh. Slips up and falls. That was Trevor Bellman. Might have been able to get five or 10 more yards off of that, but he slips up. Good and I will say, this has been a freshly groomed turf. Uh, Blade Tackett, two nights ago, there's, there's some sort of contraption that sweeps up the debris off the field and then gently puts the beads back yep. into the turf. I walked on it earlier. It looks like it's brand new. Yep. Could but just, it, could with the cooling of the air, the sun going down, might get a little slick out there. Yep. Handoff right side. Bellman cutting back. Gets across, well, actually to the 25. He'll get two yards. He'll be second down and eight. Good to see Blake Sipes back in the ball game there on the offense. I wouldn't be able to get back in that quick after a hit like that. <laughs> That's why I'm up here and they're down there. Exactly. Second and eight. Seven minutes left here in the half. Make sure to stick tuned for the Ruth. Stay tuned for the Ruth Farms halftime. I saw Zach Ruth and per, I actually see Zach Ruth across the way. We'll get him on camera at halftime. But uh, halftime band show. Fredericktown, Northmore, both very good bands. As Sipes takes it to the left. Won't be enough for the first down. He does get positive yards, though. Give him three. It's third down and five. 
North Moore's doing a lot better job of containing that end around run by the quarterback here as we go, go later through the game. Well, they're setting up defensively too to where the safeties and a couple other corners are staying in a zone, yep. allowing for those corners up on the line to be able to contain. Yep. And we have, I think, uh, an equipment timeout. That's Ashton Clark going off, so that'll bring in A.J. Benarth. Big play here for the Freddies. They desperately need a first down. Third and five. Sipes is going to look right. Got He's going to throw to his... Oh. First bad throw tonight. He had his man open, but just let him a little too much, and it'll bring up fourth down. That'll be fourth down now in a punting situation. <laughs> Got to wonder if... It, the injury, the lingering of the injury there had something to do with that bad throw. Wasn't even close. Punt again is away. Wenger calling for fair catch over his oh, hand. He muffed it. No. Ball's on the ground. It's still on the ground, and I think Fredericktown picked it up. Who has it? Still looking. And it is Fredericktown football. First big they break needed the a break. They got the break. Hunter Falk ran under it a little bit too far, had to try and catch it from around, over his head, and he muffed it. At that point, he just should have let it go. But hindsight's 2020. Now, when you call fair catch, do you have to catch it? That's, that's a good question. I don't, I don't know the answer to that. I don't think so. Nonetheless, Fredericktown in business at the Northmore 40. Sipes fakes the handoff. He'll keep it, keep it himself. He'll get maybe three yards. It'll bring up second down. They'll give him two yards on the carry. It's second and eight. Northmore took advantage of the turnover and scored from Fredericktown. Can the Freddies answer back and get a much needed score before the half? Quick handoff up the middle is met right at the line. Elijah Roush. And once again, that interior defensive line of Northmore up for the task. Another yard on the carry. It's third and seven from the Northmore 36, and you got to think this is four down territory. Definitely, Ken. yes. Down three scores. You've got to be forced to go for it here. And they can go into this play call with that mentality. Instead of trying to get it all here at once, try to get it in two Even plays. Even one of those quick outs for four or five right. yards, setting right. up fourth and short. Yep. Sipes looking, looking. He's going to throw it down the middle, and it is going to be overthrown oh. in and out of the hands of Jax Wenger, as well as Bryson Kearns. They kind of collided there. Cost each other a uh, 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 INT there. Just too much loft on that pass. Gave North more time to get underneath it and defend it well. But it will bring up fourth down and eight. So Fredericktown, instead of trying to set up a fourth and short, they went for the home run ball. And now they're going to take a timeout. 4.39 left in the half. We'll take one with them. Golden Knights leading 21-0. Ohio Health is the official sports medicine provider of Northmore High School. Available 24-7 to care for your athletes with same-day appointment options. We keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Ohio Health is proud to partner with Northmore High School to provide a healthier community. We are healthcare experts close to home, serving teams, parents, and all of Morrow County. Ohio Health, believe in we. There he is, 
That man in the hoodie with the hat, that is one Zach Ruth, former <laughs> basketball coach at Northmore, my color commentator last year for basketball as well as Spin our pre-halftime and post-game sponsor. I spent a lot of time with that man on the bench, coached a lot of, a lot of fun ball games. Got to meet with him before the game, said, Ken, the views are up because you are my color commentator. <laughs> yeah. Fourth down, yeah. Sipes just throwing, looking to the sideline. It is overthrown incomplete, and it will be a turnover on downs. Well done by the Golden Knights. That's a coverage sack right there, Ken. Beautiful coverage by the uh, defense. So with 4.33 left in a half, the Golden Knights have a chance to extend their lead. Fredericktown does get the ball out of the half, so for them, they need to get a stop. Yes, definitely. Uh, again, a little surprised on those last two play calls. My philosophy would have been to take, try to take uh, two plays to get the first down, but Fredericktown went for the home run twice and uh, didn't work out. So we saw Coach Ruth. We also saw, I saw his parents up in the stands. They're big fans of the OH Report as well. Always great to see them. Great people. I know you're a good friend of the family yep. as well. Yep, good people. First and 10 from the Northmore 38. There's going to be a reverse. It's going to be a reverse pass. Man's open deep. Underthrown, but caught in the 30. Unbelievable. Go with Becker. A, I can't believe he got that pass off, and B, I can't believe Becker came back to get that. Incredible. 33 yards on the play. As you see the tail end, Bauer just heaving it down, and Becker able to make the catch at the 30. Bauer was being rushed hard and threw in traffic. Fredertown did not bite on that fake. No. And it, it was a benefit probably that it was underthrown. Gave Becker Those are usually the ones yeah. that end up being better right. on a play like Becker that. Becker had a chance to come back and get it, and the defenders didn't know where it was. Ball on the 30. It snapped, bobbled right into the hands of Campbell, and he's going to fight up to the 26. So give him three yards, and it's second down. We take a look at the replay. Watch the snap. Was that a direct snap? And it, it, or what? it went right off the hands of Bauer and right into the hands of, <laughs> of Campbell. Everything falling into the hands yes. of Northmore here this evening. It is homecoming. Yeah. But what didn't go right for them yes, last week is going right for them this week. Campbell fights through the line, gets himself down to the 22, 23. It'll be third down and short. No offense to the Fredericktown Freddies, but uh, the level of competition is still a little bit different this week from last. Three Nights. yards, yeah, three yards on the carry. Three minutes left in the half. Another handoff. Campbell again gets down to the 20-yard line. It's going to be fourth down and probably a yard. Nice job of wrapping up that ball, using both arms to protect it. So two yards. Northmore doing what Fredericktown decided not to do on offense. That third down, get a run, get it closer yep. to the line to gain. And they will go for it. Caleb Chenier has the boot, but this running attack, they're confident they can get this one yard. They look off to the side. This time, Fredericktown did not jump. A good job by them not to as they... Almost. They might be going to... They might be calling time out here. Coach Armour is right next to the ref. Play clock coming down to five seconds. They might talk this over here. And that's exactly yep. what they're going to do. Got all three timeouts, might as well. So the Golden Knights take a timeout. We'll take one with them. Looking to go up four scores right before the break. Everybody struggles sometimes. When you need someone to talk to, call 988 or text HELPLINE to 898-211 to reach the Suicide and Crisis Hotline. When you reach out to 988, hope always answers. Golden Knights out of their first timeout of the first half. Score from Carey. Blue Devils leading Crawford seven to nothing. Wow. It's becoming a big time football rivalry between those two. Handoff right side and 
Kramer is going to get three yards and a first down. Got tripped up, but he fell forward and gets the home and kitchen supply first down. To take a look at the replay, just power. A couple other scores from the K-Mac. East Knox continuing with that 7-0 lead. Danville, they score. They go for two. They get it. It's 8-7. Nice Run off the cut. right side. Kramer's going to get inside the five. It's first and goal. Down at the two. Kramer has had a lot of carries tonight. He's showing some fresh legs there. Some nice speed on that turn around the end. I, power eye formation. Bauer looks off to the sidelines. Coming up on 90 seconds left in the half. Play clock at 10. Bauer hands it to Kramer again. He's going to get hit. Reaches to the end zone, but he's going to be short. a yard short. Give him two yards. It's second and goal from the one. Nice job of wrapping him up and holding him. Hold on to him till help came. And actually, that play helps Northmore out. They're going to be able to run this clock down to under to about 45 seconds before they snap it next. So they got positive yards. They're able to run more clock off. And they have three more chances at scoring. Bauer hands off to Kramer. And again, this time, he is in the end zone. Nice job. Touchdown, Golden Knights. 27-0. Northmore rolling here in the first half. Good job, the offensive line there, creating a big hole for Paul Kramer to run through. You knew it was going back to him. Yep. After that he bruising it. run, yep. Coach Armrose and company said, we're yep. going to call your number until you get in. Yep. And that's exactly what they do with 57 seconds left. There's Caleb Chenier looking to make it, as I'm knocking on wood, four for four. Snap down. Kick away. It's good. We'll take one more timeout. 28 nothing Golden Knights with under a minute left in the half. Ohio Health is the official sports medicine provider of Northmore High School. Available 24-7 to care for your athletes with same-day appointment options. We keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Ohio Health is proud to partner with Northmore High School to provide a healthier community. We are healthcare experts close to home, serving teams, parents, and all of Morrow County. Ohio Health, believe in we. Fifty-seven seconds left here in the first half. Northmore ahead, twenty-eight nothing. Travis Brody alongside Ken Parrott. Four. Well, five possessions if you count the turnover as well. Four touchdowns for Northmore. Very efficient this evening. Yeah, the offense is definitely hitting all cylinders tonight. Throwing the ball well, running the ball well. Good game to give us confidence back after the beat down they got last week. For Fredericktown, Six of the 24 starters are listed as sophomores. A lot of juniors as well. This is a younger squad. After last year, you know, maybe trying to bounce back here. Bellman, though, going to get a good starting position with 50 seconds left. Redrick Town with one timeout left. But this is a young team trying to get things going, trying to learn some things. Showing a lot of growth and some resiliency. I mean, they, they've had some beat downs, some goose egg games here against some really powerhouse teams early in the season, and, and they're still showing uh, some growth and maturity as, as the season goes on. They're, they're going to continue to get better. So 50 seconds left. It's going to be a handoff. Bellman gets across the 35. They'll mark him down at the 38, so five yards. Clock continues to run. Danville now up 16-7 over Loudonville. And East Knox up 14-0 over Mount Gilead. A couple other scores from the K-Mac. 
we knew it was only a matter of time for Danville. Handoff right side, Roush across midfield, still on his feet to the 45. 18 yards, a home and kitchen supply first down. Clock stopped at nine seconds. So the clock will stop. So you gotta think, are they gonna try a home run ball here or are they gonna keep it on the ground? This should be the last play of the half. They get it off. Sipes looking deep. Gonna go down the middle and it is incomplete. No flags. And that'll do it for the half. We've reached the half here in North Bloomfield Township. Northmore rolling along on homecoming 28-0. We'll take a break. Be back with the halftime band show right here live and free on the OH Report. Take a look at all the action from Friday Night Football right here in North Central Ohio with great analysis, highlights, coach interviews, and so much more every single Friday night right here on the OH Report. Ohio Health is the official sports medicine provider of Northmore High School. Available 24-7 to care for your athletes with same-day appointment options. We keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Ohio Health is proud to partner with Northmore High School to provide a healthier community. We are healthcare experts close to home, serving teams, parents, and all of Morrow County. Ohio Health. Believe in we.
Jackson was a number five hit on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 in 2002. This chart takes the rock band Jimmy Eats the World is sure to take you back in time. Here's the middle.
here, break.
Everybody struggles sometimes. When you need someone to talk to, call 988 or text HELPLINE to 898-211 to reach the Suicide and Crisis Hotline. When you reach out to 988, hope always answers. Tonight's high school football live stream brought to you live and free on the OH Report. Thanks to our generous sponsors, Morrow County Hospital, providing great care locally so patients do not have to travel far to receive quality expert health care. Andy Bauer, Edward Jones Investors. Whether you're planning for retirement, saving for college, grandchildren, or just trying to protect the financial future of the ones you care about most, Andy can develop specific strategies to help you achieve your goals. First Federal Community Bank. Banking locally just got a little bit easier. Ruth Farms. They specialize in bread, born and raised freezer beef since 1948. Call Zach Ruth to order yours at 419-989-0341. Once again, that is 419-989-0341. Northmore Athletic Boosters. Northmore Athletic Boosters raise funds to support our Golden Knights student athletes, coaches, and community. Go Knights! Helpline. Are you, a, are you 
a friend or a family member struggling with depression, thoughts of suicide, or other mental health concerns, Helpline is here to listen 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Call or text our free confidential suicide and crisis line at 988 or text HELPLINE, that is H-E-L-P-L-I-N-E, all one word, to 898211. Once again, that is 898211. Free to lay. We are driven and inspired by our purpose, food that matters for life's moments, and home and kitchen supply, your one-stop shop for kitchen and baths, windows and doors since 1970. Thank you all for allowing us to bring you these live streams live and free to you, the fans, right here on the OH Report. As we welcome you inside a quick halftime report brought to you by Ruth Farms, thanks to the amazing job by both bands here this evening, but it's 28 nothing Golden Knights, Ken, and they have just dominated things thus far. Yeah, definitely. Uh, A.J. Bowers having a, a banner night. He's 9 for 12, 180 yards passing, three touchdowns. Uh, Bo Landon's got three receptions for 99 yards and two touchdowns and total offense of 213 yards. Uh, they're firing in all cylinders and, and uh, doing well. Five first downs for Fredericktown, 25 passing, 72 rushing, most on that first drive. But other, th other than that, really haven't been able to get much going. They could have taken advantage of a muff punt, but could not get the change, the move. They have four penalties, 20 yards, all five-yard penalties. Northmore, no penalties. They lost that muff punt. Fredericktown, an interception deep in their own territory that led to a score to lead to your 28-0 halftime. Freddy's put together a really good opening drive and they've just kind of shot themselves in, a, in the foot with either a, a costly penalty or a turnover or just just uh, all kinds of mistakes going on and it's, it's, it's cost them. So, just about ready to go here for the second half. Caleb Schneer, ready to kick things away. Boots it away, taken at the five across the 20, 25 yard line, 26, and that is where the Freddies will take over, first and 10. And Ken, they really need to get something going here right now, Definitely. down four scores. Definitely. So it'll be first and 10 from their own 25 yard line. Quick flip right side, that's the Roush. And Roush will get up to the 29-yard line. Give him four yards, it's second down and four. So second and six coming up here, just underway, quarter number three. Just underway. Quarter number three. Lucas leads Monroeville 17 14 at the half. Roush gets the handoff. Right into the line of scrimmage. Bounces off. Gets about four more yards. It's third down and two. Like Coach Hartley challenged his line at the halftime to get the job done. He's got two uh, very conservative calls here, and it's worked out well. Dalton leading Hillsdale 35 0 at the half. Sipes looking to pass. It's going to go right down the middle, and it's short. Intended for Brody Davis. 
Did you say 35 nothing? Yes. Wow. Dalton is for real. Yes, they are. They but took the defending I'm state champs in Kirtland to the wire, losing by seven. Yeah. I, knew, I know they're good, but I thought I was going to see a little better performance out of Hillsdale. Going into the season, you figured Hillsdale probably have two losses. Yeah. Norwayne and Dalton are really good. Yeah. Those will be fighting for the for the championship. Then you'll have that Hillsdale right behind. Right. So you're guessing eight wins would be the mark for the Falcons. Punt is away. It's a short one. It's going to take a bounce for Northmore and go down at the 43-yard line. Not much of a bounce in the way for Fredericktown. And A.J. Bauer and company will get their first possession, a score of any we we'll get the clock running here in the second half. So you take a look at that bounce, had some backspin. Looked like a Phil Mickelson nine <laughs> iron right there. There's the you see how Freddy cheerleaders. Did you see how much Phil and Benedict's gambled over the years last week? Yeah. It's yeah. Incredible. Second quarter, 38-28, Ontario leading Gallion. Talk about high scoring there. Kramer down the sideline. It's going to get to the 49 of Fredericktown. No, to midfield. Nice run, though. Where are they going to mark him down officially? And we have a flag anyway, so that's going to back things up. Golden Knights with its first penalty. It's a hold. And it'll back them up. So that'll back them up, make it first in 20. Two minutes gone by here, second half. Bauer hands off again. Kramer up to the 40 yard line, nearly got all the yards back. Paul Kramer is running like a man on a mission. Hitting that hole hard. Give him eight. It's yep. now second and 12. Good eight of it back. Bauer gets the call. Kramer this time again. He's met. We have another flag on the play. Betty, that's a hole. And again, it will be on Northmore. And whoever's holding didn't do a very good job. Just a penetrated and actually threw. And it is another hold. So they got the yards back on first down. And they're going to go right back to the spot here for second down anyway. <laughs> Halftime, Centerburg 21, Cardington 0. And actually, Frederictown will decline yep. the penalty. So it's a loss of two. It'll be a third down and 14 for the Golden Knights. That's a smart choice. I believe, I agree with you completely. Yep. 28-10 Mansfield senior leading Lex at the half. Bauer, he's going to look to go deep. Down the middle of the field looking for his man. It's caught and then oh close lined. Another great ball. Jackson Wenger. Wow. Another perfectly thrown ball. But watch the end of this play. Yeah, he gets hammered. Boom. Can't believe he held on to it. See that one more time. Thirty-five yards on the completion. Jack Swenger, have yourself a day. And now we'll get a timeout for the Golden Knights. We'll take one with them. 8.49 left in the third. Northmore leads by four scores. Ohio Health is the official sports medicine provider of Northmore High School. Available 24-7 to care for your athletes with same-day appointment options. 
we keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Ohio Health is proud to partner with Northmore High School to provide a healthier community. We are healthcare experts close to home, serving teams, parents, and all of Morrow County. Ohio Health, believe in we. Power back to pass. Quick completion to the right side. He's got room. Nice run after the completion by Becker. Back here, had a little oh. camera difficulties on my end. My apologies for that, folks. But a flag on the play is going to bring this hole all the way back. I want to see that catch one more time. It's going to be another hold on Northmore. Uh. Nice little run there by Becker, getting called back, unfortunately. So the third hold against Northmore on this drive, the second one accepted on this drive. So now it's first and 20. Bauer. Screen nice pass. Screen up the middle. Up the middle. Wide open. 25 20. Oh, slips, slips up. And another flag, flag on the play. Goldbach on the reception, but we'll see what the flag is. We'll take a look at the replay as well. Gets North War again. They're definitely concentrating on somebody that's... It's a block in the back. Bo Landon got called on that one. So another 10-yard penalty. And it is first down and... Let's see, the 15, they're out to the... 35, about 19 yards. Clock running still at 8.05 left here in the quarter. Bauer's going to roll out to the left. He has time. He throws it, but oh. short. It bounces. Wide open, too. So Jax Wenger was the intended receiver, but just a little short. That's tough when you're rolling off to your left. Definitely. You got to square those hips yeah. first before letting it go. And if you're not, you don't have that back foot settled, and you're going to throw it short. And AJ usually does a great job of that, that to move, but uh, unfortunately skipped that a little short. So second down and 20 now. Hard count again, looks off to the left side. Waiting for the call from his head coach from his offensive coordinator actually takes the snap with one on the play clock. He's gonna throw it left, has a man open this time and it is caught by Wenger at the 26 yard line. Eight yards. They'll bring up third down and about 12. Again, four down territory. I'm sure they'll take two of these downs to try to get it back. Yep, take third down, maybe get six more yep. yards. Set you up. And it's going to be a handoff. They're trying to get those yards. Carson Campbell across the 20. And down to about the 18-yard line. Nine yards. It'll be fourth and two. So exactly what they needed there yep. to set up fourth and short. One for one on fourth downs tonight. Bauer looking to the sideline to get his call. He'll have three wide to the left. That's Wenger, Falk, and Landon. Campbell, sidecar left, and Bauer's going to keep it himself. He's going to lurch down to the 15. Should have plenty. And it is a first down. A.J. Bauer needed two, got three. And just look at 
the way he just lunged forward, and it was that extra effort that got him the first down for the Golden Knights. First and 10 now. Handoff. Campbell, right side, gets inside the 10, down to the 9. Six yards, it's second down and short. Northport's offensive line did a good job of wearing down the defensive line of the Freddies. So that'll bring up second down and short. They can get a first down at the five. Campbell fights his way towards the five, gets stood up right at the line to gain. Got, looks like a first down, yep. And it is, it'll be first and goal. A home and kitchen supply first down. First and goal, Golden Knights from the five. Under six to play in the third. Handoff Campbell again. Left side, he is nice to the hole. goal line. Down at the one. It's a little short. Got four on it. It'll be second to goal from the one. The sophomore makes his way to the goal line. Campbell again. You got to think, they, they did it early. Yep. Earlier to Kramer. Yep. I'd bet a quarter on it. You, sir, went oh, a quarter, but wow. he is stood up. Big hit. Big play by the Fredericktown defense to keep him out. They saw it happen a couple drives earlier. This time they were ready for it. No gain. Third goal. That was a big time hit. Bauer now under center. Now they're in their heavy package. One wide to the left. It's going to be a pitch left side to Kramer. One to be. And did he get in? No signal. No, he no. didn't get there. It's going to be fourth and goal. So they went with the pitch out to Kramer. And Dalton Lang came in from his corner position to make the stop. Coach Armbrose is going to try to punch it in here. Fourth and goal. Look out for the keeper here. Nope, they're going to give it to Kramer. Kramer. Didn't get it. Yes, oh, touchdown. Nice. Flag. Second effort, flag but a flag is on the play, too. Thrown very late. After the touchdown. I think going. it was a, a, a thrown helmet. There's, there's a helmet off of one of the Fredericktown players. Oh. Take a look at the replay, see what happened there. There's the effort, and he just lunged in. Oh, he just kind of oh, a little shove. Off. Yep. So you got to think Northmore. So it'll be a personal foul so. on Fredericktown. It'll be assessed on the kickoff. <laughs> Don't know how the helmet came off, yeah, but yeah, it's well, always the second the you saw the story. shove. We've, we've had this conversation before. It happened against Northmore yep. at Danville last week. If you retaliate, you're going to get caught. Nonetheless, it's a touchdown, yep. and we'll have a running clock. So Caleb Chenier will be on to kick this extra point. And we'll have a running clock after this play. Mm -hmm. And actually it starts right now yeah. because it is 30. Yeah. Golden Knights are going to let the play clock run down as well. Snap down, kick is away, and it is right down Main Street. 
Spears been perfect tonight. 344 left in the third. Golden Knights up 35 nothing. Everybody struggles sometimes. When you need someone to talk to, call 988 or text helpline to 898-211 to reach the Suicide and Crisis Hotline. When you reach out to 988, hope always answers. We're gonna have a running clock here, folks, until Frederick Town's able to get it under 30 points. Back to it, we have a lot of people watching tonight. Melissa Radel, go Knights, go, go, go. <laughs> Can't talk tonight, go Golden Knight marching band. Joe Keen, nice throw and catch. Billy Davis, go Knights and kick some of Frederick Town's butt because they don't, th okay. Billy Davis rooting for the Golden Knights, we'll just say that. <laughs> Ruth Cresswell, Pappy's watching. Hi, Pappy. Go Knights. Joseph Peters, thank you, Dora Brown, for the link. Watching from Port Charlotte, Florida. And David Grooms watching from Central Wisconsin. And Wisconsin's playing Purdue in that dumb Friday night at Big Ten game. Who, which coach was it? Was it Wisconsin's coach or Indiana's coach that said, this is stupid that we play on Friday night because Friday nights are meant for high school yeah, football? I'm totally against it. Terry Fisher, how you doing as well? Pappy's one of my favorite people of all time. That's Gerald Walker. Also, Terry Fisher saw her sister, brother-in-law, and five nephews with the Northmore Marching Band at halftime. They had their alumni band out there as well, like they always do. As Chenier just boots that into the end zone for a touchback, so that's where Fredericktown will start first and 10 at the 20-yard line. Terry liked the song Choices by the Freddies, well played and choreographed. I did like the last song for the Freddies did with all, all the movement and whatnot. Everybody having a great time here. Excellent halftime show. Thank you, Terry, for watching as well. She likes to thank the sponsors so she can watch her hometown team from Florida. And D. Algeyer, way to hold Freddie, so a Fredericktown fan out there as well. First and 10, Fredericktown. It's going to be a handoff. And met right at the line of scrimmage is going to be Roush. Nothing doing. Seneca East 30, Buckeye Central 6. Worcester now leading West Holmes 28-21. Winford over Bucyrus at the half, 50-18. to Snap back. Sipes looking the pass. Reverses other field, looking down deep, and it is overthrown. And it'll bring up third down. He was looking for Hartley, but Hartley was double covered, and it was thrown a little too far. Well covered. Carey now leading 13-7 in the third quarter. That game you can also see on the OH report. Ontario 45, Galleon 28 at the half. Wow. Ontario half, needs that game time? a little bit more than, yeah, wow. than Galleon because they're in Division Three. Oh, my goodness. Sipes held on, it, held on to it for a little bit too long, and he is down. He's hurt. It's that shoulder once again, but Benarth. Gets in there. If you'll take a look at the replay here, and he just held on it way too long. Didn't see the blind side coming. And that's, it looked like he just stopped. That's yeah. where you try and give yourself up and fall to the ground. Yeah. He'll learn that as he goes on. He's only a sophomore, but man, he's been taking a beating back there this evening. Coverage sack and an actual sack. Ashton leading Madison, 28-0 at the half. Shelby over Highland, 26-14, just before the half. That'll be fair caught by Cohen Becker. A little closer ball game than I was expecting out of Highland. Well, when you have Dane Nauman running the ball, they probably taking yeah. the time off the clock yeah. running with him. 
But Brayden DeVito, one of the best underclassmen quarterbacks, I got to think in Division Four. Yeah, yeah, he's putting up some crazy numbers. So the Golden Knights taking over here as they start the clock once again. First and, first and ten. A.J. Bauer, ready to go. Hands it to Campbell, cuts back up and gets to the 35-yard line, giving the 36, gain of one, second down. So Campbell, again with that cutback, we see him do that a lot. If he sees just a little bit of a hole in the middle, he will cut it and take it right down Very the good gut. Vision, yeah. But that time, a good, good job by yep. the second line the linebacking core of Fredericktown to really shut that down after a yard. Northmore will have to run a play before the end of the quarter, but this will most likely be the last play of the quarter. And it's another handoff to Campbell. Cuts back, and he's met immediately. That's Devin Witt. And that'll do it for the third quarter. We've played three here in Northmore while we're running clock to start. Money time after the break. You're watching High School Football Live and free right here on the OH Report. Ohio Health is the official sports medicine provider of Northmore High School. Available 24-7 to care for your athletes with same-day appointment options. We keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Ohio Health is proud to partner with Northmore High School to provide a healthier community. We are healthcare experts close to home, serving teams, parents, and all of Morrow County. Ohio Health. Believe in we. Everybody struggles sometimes. When you need someone to talk to, call 988 or text HELPLINE to 898-211 to reach the Suicide and Crisis Hotline. When you reach out to 988, hope always answers. Fourth quarter about to begin once they get the game clock set. Yeah. But Northmore leading 35 nothing On a Paul Kramer touchdown. The lone score in that third quarter. Now the clock has been reset and begun. Third down and 10 for the Northmore Golden Knights on the Fredericktown 37. And touchdown. Campbell in the... The Wildcat gets down to the 30, so he gets seven yards. It's going to be fourth down and about three. First time we've seen the Wildcat for the Golden Knights this evening. Yep. Coach Armrose is keeping things a little more conservative in this drive. Showing a little sportsmanship here. So Campbell will take this snap, and he'll run it again. Up the middle, he's met, and he's not going to get it. Not going to make it. Fredericktown gets the stop. It'll be a turnover on downs. So take a look at the Northmore Athletic Boosters replay. Great job. Everybody in there on the stop, including Kirk Parker right there. And it's a first down brought to you by Home and Kitchen Supply for Fredericktown. Here's a score for you. Maslin Tigers, who are now nationally ranked, they're in Middletown, Delaware tonight, leading 28-7 at the half. Wow. When you're a nationally ranked squad, you got to go out of this yep, state if you exactly. want to play some games, and that's exactly. what they do. Is this finally the year that they win a state championship? Yep, not, a, not a pole championship, but an actual state championship. There's a handoff really? to Bellman. He's going to get... Eight yards. 
but could this be the year? They already beat St. Ed's. It's looking good. A lot of season left. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. But you know it is playoff time. And tonight on the pigskin, I'll have our first Lenardi berardi playoff update. I know our production crew loves it because it keeps them over about 15 minutes. <laughs> Tough, folks. We're here for you. It's going to be a handoff right at the middle, but met right at the line. No gain and thrown down Take to the him. ground. That'll bring up third down. Roush with the handoff and get yikes. That, get that a little gingerly that time. Well, when you have Vance Johnson just putting you through the ground like that, it's 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 going to take you a second. Yeah. I'd still be on the ground yes. writhing in pain. Stretcher. So third down and one. That's going to be a keeper, and they're going to get it. Sipes back in there as well. Calls his own number, and it's going to be a first down for the Golden, for the Freddies, not the Golden Knights, for the Freddies. And, and those are the kind of things, you know, Coach Hartley's got to work on. It's it's tough to keep the brow up when you're getting beat 35 nothing. but he's got a young crew. And, and he's got a tough quarterback. That's yes. the sec second time we've seen him come up yep. holding that shoulder, but next possession, he's right back in there, and he's calling his own number yep. going right up the gut. Yep. That, is, that is a gutsy performance by this sophomore. Yep. Much respect to him. He's going to hand it off this time. Bellman is going to get three or four yards. They're going to give him three. It'll be second and seven. Coming up on 8.30 left here in the game. So the Golden Knights looking like they're going to go into the homecoming dance with a victory. And that homecoming dance... DJ'd by one Brian Skaronski and Travis Berardi. I'm looking forward to it tomorrow. Bellman! Bellman. What a big run. You think Fredericktown's quit? No. Nope. They're going to play to the end of this game, and that's a big run by Bellman. Should take a look at it just up the gut. So give him 13 on the carry, and that's a home and kitchen supply first down. Roush this time, right up to the line. It'll be second down. I haven't paid much attention to see if Northmore's got second stringers that are on defense yet. But. Update from Carey, 13-7, Blue Devils at the end of the third. Winford and B. Cyrus still 50-18 to 18 at the half. Those are our other two live streams of the evening. We have a ton of highlights as well you'll see of tonight on the pigskin. Roush this time will not be taken down. He's no going to be clear. short of the first down, but it's going to be... All right, folks, push the wrong button. Here's the replay. I took us the break, brought us back real there quick you again. You're right, Travis. They're showing no quit. That's good. And I do see the likes of Kramer still in there. That's something you can build on for next week. Caleb Chenier's in there. Hand off again. Bellman. Got the first down. First down. A Hoban Kitchen Supply first down. First and 10 from the Northmore 33. It's going to be another handoff. Bellman, or Roush actually, is going to get team tackled. Yeah, Chenier hitting first. It's going to be a loss of two. Bring up second down and 12. Back to our comments section. 
I can see Billy Davis is not a fan of Fredericktown. Okay. Joe Keene watching from Hudson, Florida. Shelly Patton watching from Lake Susie, Florida. Christy Goldbach, go Knights. If I can't be there to see my nephew, at least I can see this. Well, that's what we're here for. <laughs> Vincent Melcher's here, and he says he's cold. It is getting chilly out there. <laughs> And Bellman for the second consecutive play Lost two brought more. down in the backfield. And now that Northmore defensive line getting in there. Vance Johnson once again. I saw Lowry, a couple other players as well. It'll be third down now in about 15, 14. Sure they had a little motivation there to pitch a shutout tonight. Craig and Cheryl Zager watching from Phoenix, Arizona. Great job the Northmore's volleyball team yesterday. Go Jillian Zager. Craig was a great offensive lineman for Coach Bob Jenny in the middle 80s. Won the league a couple times. Had a twin brother, Kevin. Good football players. Roush is going to lose one. It's going to be fourth down and 15. But yes, the uh, volleyball squad we had live and free knock off their rival in three in straight sets. Freddy's need 15 yards here to keep this drive alive. Sipes looking. He's going to throw it towards the end zone, and it is going to be tipped in picks. Interception by Hunter Folk. And the Golden Knights probably going to wrap things up here. Call that a touchback? Is it the one? They're going to mark him. He caught that, established himself at the one, then got so, taken back into yeah, the end zone. So I thought. So that is now 20 takeaways by the Golden Knights this season. Take a look one more time at the replay. Sipes just went for it. And overthrew his receiver. Actually deflected off the hands of Wenger. Yep. And then into the hands of Falk. So 3.52 left. Northmore is going to just push this ahead. They're right at the goal line right now. You don't want to get a safety here. It's going to be a handoff, and they're going to get a couple yards out of there. They're going to get more than a couple more than yards. A couple, yeah. Some nice breathing room there. Kramer gets about six yards out of that. Maybe seven yards. But now gives the Golden Knights some breathing room here as we go up on three minutes left in the game. Make sure to stay tuned for the Ruth Farms post-game show and our first Federal Community Bank MVP. I want to say Landon, maybe tonight. A couple of big touchdown catches. Good call. I votes for him or AJ, one of the two. Another handoff. Kramer gets the first down. Got four out of it. And now the clock, and now here comes the second squad. So Coach Armros, the first team offense, got enough yards for them to bring out the JVs, the number twos. That's a handoff to Aiden Yeater. Yeater. Give him 13 yards and another home and kitchen supply first down. So he just weaves his way through, breaks nice a couple run. tackles. Yep, nice run. Under two to play. They can run this down to about a minute 20. Still 15 seconds left on the play clock. They're going to lead this. 
Low snap. Yeeter again, but this time he's met by four or five. Freddie's in the backfield. So Yeeter this time met in the backfield. Loss of two. Last play. Yeah. This will probably be the last snap of the game. So Northmore did what they needed to do on homecoming. They bounce back. They get some big plays on both sides of the ball. Line dominated both sides, and the offense was hitting on all cylinders tonight. Snap, Bob Gator across the 30. Met and reaches ahead to the 31. Close to the first down, but it will most likely be the last play of the game. Nine yards for him. And the play clock is off. So they don't need to snap it once again. And they won't. East Knox with a 28-0 lead over Mount Gilead. Northmore's going to get some good bonus points too because Frederictown's a division ahead of them. Yep. And that'll help get close to this top eight to have a home, home game for the playoffs. So that'll do it. Golden Knights shut out Frederictown, get revenge from last year. And when at 35 0, we'll take a break. Be back with the Ruth Farms post game and our first Federal Community Bank MVP right here, live and free on the OH Report. Take a look at all the action from Friday Night Football right here in North Central Ohio with great analysis, highlights, coach interviews, and so much more every single Friday night right here on the OH Report. Ohio Health is the official sports medicine provider of Northmore High School. Available 24-7 to care for your athletes with same-day appointment options. We keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Ohio Health is proud to partner with Northmore High School to provide a healthier community. We are healthcare experts close to home, serving teams, parents, and all of Morrow County. Ohio Health. Believe in we. Everybody struggles sometimes. When you need someone to talk to, call 988 or text HELPLINE to 898-211 to reach the Suicide and Crisis Hotline. When you reach out to 988, hope always answers. Tonight's high school football game brought to you live and free on the OH Report. Thanks to our generous sponsors. Morrow County Hospital, providing great care locally so patients do not have to travel far to receive quality expert health care. Andy Bauer, Edward Jones Investors. Whether you're in planning for retirement, saving for college, grandchildren, or just trying to protect the financial future of the ones you care about most, Andy can develop specific strategies to help you achieve your goals. First Federal Community Bank. Banking locally just got a little easier. 
Ruth Farms. They specialize in bread, born and raised freezer beef since 1948. Call Zach Ruth to order yours at 419-989-0341. Once again, that is 419-989-0341. The Northmore Athletic Boosters. Northmore Athletic Boosters raise funds to support our Golden Knights student athletes, coaches, and community. Go Knights. Helpline. Are you a friend or a family member struggling with depression, thoughts of suicide, or other mental health concerns? Helpline is here to listen 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Call or text our free confidential suicide and crisis line at 988 or text helpline, one word, H-E-L-P-L-I-N-E, to 898211. Once again, text helpline to 898211. Free delay. We are driven and inspired by our purpose, food that matters, for life's moments, and finally, home and kitchen supply. Your one stop shop for kitchen and baths, windows and doors since 1970. When we come back, the Ruth Farms post-game show and our MVP right here on the OH Report. Are you ready for the comeback? Ohio Health is the official sports medicine provider of Northmore High School. Available 24-7 to care for your athletes with same-day appointment options. We keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Ohio Health is proud to partner with Northmore High School to provide a healthier community. We are healthcare experts close to home, serving teams, parents, and all of Morrow County. Ohio Health, believe in we. Everybody struggles sometimes. When you need someone to talk to, call 988 or text helpline to 898-211 to reach the Suicide and Crisis Hotline. When you reach out to 988, hope always answers. Time now for our first Federal Community Bank MVP, and it is Northmore Playmaker Bo Landon. Three catches, 99 yards, and two touchdowns. Bo, congratulations. Um, It seems like any time you get close to a a jump ball or anything, you win it. Just take me through what, what, what happens when you're going down the field. There's a corner right on you. The ball's coming, and you just somehow... You come up with it every time. Just what, 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 do you, what goes through your mind when this happens? Well, as I'm running and I see the ball get thrown up, first thing I think of is I make my adjustments towards the, to the ball. I get in my right position, 
to where I can make that play on the corner. Usually I like to high point the ball and uh, and like I say to all my teammates when they ask me how I call it that, I just say the ball just comes in my hands. <laughs> hey, and it works. Um, great bounce back for you guys. Last week, you know, a, a tough loss to Danville down there by 11 points, but tonight it seemed like it worked. Everything worked for each aspect of the game, defensively and offensively. Just what was what was practice like this week coming into this game, and what were you guys thinking on the field needing to get this game done? Uh, practice was went really well this week. We were really focused. Shout out to Coach Hall for keeping us focused in the weight room and on the field. Um, heading into homecoming with a 4 and 2 record. You're right in the playoff race. You're only a game back in the conference race. What you guys need to work on here the last 4 games of the season hopefully going into the playoffs and hopefully still playing for a KMAC championship. I'd say all around we need to we can always improve every aspect of our game, offense, defense, passing, rushing, all of it to be that top tier team to make it to all around like really far in the playoffs. All right. Lastly, before we let you go, you want to look into the camera, look, give anybody a shout-out, go for it, my friend. Uh, shout-out to my friends, my uncles, who helped me a lot with football, and uh, family, and my girlfriend. There we have it, tonight's MVP, Bo Landon, three catches, 99 yards, two touchdowns. Go get some rest so you can dance tomorrow, man. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Are you ready for the comeback? Take a look at all the action from Friday Night Football right here in North Central Ohio with great analysis, highlights, coach interviews, and so much more every single Friday night right here on the OH Report. Back here as we wrap things up in the Ruth Farms post-game show. Northmore, 36. Should we say 35, nothing. Eh, we're having some problems with ours. There we go. Always got to have one glitch. <laughs> it was with this tonight. That's fine with me. 35, nothing the, the final, though, Ken. And just a great night to be a gold knight. We, we could talk about Bo Landis performance. We could talk about uh, A.J. Bauer's performance. Uh, I'm going to give out kudos to the offensive and defensive lines. The offense did a great job of creating holes, gave A.J. all kinds of time to find his targets. Defensive line held the Freddies to the total of what? How many yards? 137 total yards for the game. Phenomenal and, effort. Yeah, and just two drives most of those came on. So for yeah. – 80% of the game, Northmore yep. defense been shut down, forced two interceptions. They did muff that one punt, but the defense held. They got the ball back. No harm, no foul. Uh, three penalties, 30 yards. That one drive where they had three holds kind of hurts. Uh, Fredericktown only that, that one tough frustration penalty, but it was kind of penalty free this evening. Frustration for uh, the Freddies, but uh, fans got to remember they're young. You got to be patient. Uh, I see a lot of good things out of Blake Sipes, and uh, they're going to get better. They're, they're, they're going to get mature and, and get better with experience and and uh, give the coaching staff, staff some time, and, and they'll be there in a year or two. So that'll wrap things up here from the Castle. Fredericktown, next, they're hosting Loudonville on Friday night. Last I checked, Danville started pulling away. As for the Golden Knights, they're right back here. You and I will see it live and free against the – a, a up and coming solid East Knox squad. This is this is a really big game for East Knox. Can they knock off Northmore, try and fight for that number two spot in the KMAC? And over or the even, you know, set up something with Danville yeah. in week ten, yeah. or can Northmore continue the role and solidify their spot as number two? In a lot of the uh, last three or four years the, that game has always been a dog fight between East Knox and Northmore. So both teams will be very very motivated to do well. That'll do it. 
Any final words from you, Ken, before we I get back to the studio for the pigskin at 11.30? Good luck to your DJ uh, experience uh, tomorrow Yes, Brian night. and I will be DJing these Golden Knights. <laughs> you know, I never, I, never, I, I never went to dances as a teacher for all those years I taught, but I, I'm tempted to come over just to see the, see the show tomorrow night. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> We're going to have a good time with, with the kids there. But 35 nothing is your final here from... Northmore. I want to thank everybody to help make things possible today. Brandon Powell, our camera person. Great job. He also ran over, got the audio for the band, so got his work out in tonight. Ken Parrott, my color commentator, and all of our sponsors this evening. Morrow County Hospital, as well as Andy Bauer, Edward Jones Investors, First Federal Community Bank, our MVP sponsor, Ruth Farms, our pregame sponsor. Northmore Athletic Boosters, our instant replay sponsor. Helpline, as well as Frito Lay and Morrow County Hospital, our commercial sponsors. And Home and Kitchen Supply, our first down sponsor. Want to thank the fine folks here at the Northmore Athletic Department, Blake Tackett and company for allowing us to be here, as well as the OHSAA for allowing us to live stream these games to you, fans live and free. Northmore. Moves the four and two. They stay in second place in the KMAC. For Ken Parrott, I'm Travis Berardi saying so long from North Bloomfield Township. <laughs>